Well, it has been nearly three years since Jerry Brown left the governor's office. He's enjoying retired life on his family's ranch in Calusa County, but he is not keeping quiet. Alex Michelson, host of our political show, The Issue Is, paid him a visit recently and asked him about his successor's performance and some of the bigger issues that are facing our state. Jerry Brown and his dogs are taking us on a ride we'll never forget. I want to make sure my foot is on the accelerator. Like most of his life, Brown is pedal to the metal. So this is all your property when we look out? As he traverses up the mountains of his 2,500 acre ranch, about an hour northwest of Sacramento. And you feel totally at home here. Yeah, I do. I, I feel I have enough elbow. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Exactly. On the day Gavin Newsom became governor in 2019, Brown and his wife Ann moved out of the governor's mansion and into a home they recently built here. They call it Mountain House 3. This is Mountain House 1. Brown's great-grandfather, August Shuckman, developed the first mountain house here in 1878. It had become a stagecoach inn for horseback travelers. His grandmother, Ida, lived here. Today, there are way more cows than people living nearby. It is rather conservative. Most people here uh, voted for Trump, voted for the recall, are not vaccinated, mm. uh, but are certainly uh, good so, neighbors. So what do they think of you? I, I don't ask them that, but they're very <laughs> friendly. Almost all the power comes from solar panels. That's the well. All the water comes from a well and rainwater. 15,000 gallons. Brown living completely off the grid. I'm very happy that I'm here. This is probably the best time in my life, no question. In 1974, Brown became California's youngest governor ever when he was elected at just 36. He'd leave office in 2019 at 80 years old, California's oldest governor ever. He's now 83. I know a lot now, you know, at 83, compared to what I was known at 38 right. running for president. Brown is concerned by images of rising crime in California. You feel like there are not enough consequences right now yes. for the crimes that are happening. That's what I think. You've heard about the redistribution of wealth. We need a redistribution of incarceration. Brown is also worried about California's massive surplus forecast. It's very hard to spend a lot of money in government without doing stupid things. Generational and transformational budget. What do you think we should do with this surplus now? It's very difficult to spend money well, particularly when you know it's not going to be there in two years. And we are going to, we have to be. That's the history of California. The money flows in and then it goes away. Arnold Schwarzenegger had a deficit of 60 billion. Mm. The next deficit is going to be just like that. We have no peers. What would your advice to Governor Newsom be? Watch how you spend that money because it can, uh, you know, it looks okay now, but uh, two years, you re he's going to be reelected. I feel confident about that. And then I think that second term can be can be difficult. Also, the longer you're in and the more exposure you get, the more they get tired of you. Brown is busy now as chair of the California China Climate Institute and chair of the Oakland Military Institute, which he founded. He doesn't spend too much time thinking about his legacy, but when pressed, here's his answer. I don't like to spend too much money, and I felt that way about tax money. And then secondly, climate, the environment, California is a beautiful state and to maintain the biodiversity, the beauty. Beauty showcased at this ranch. When you see this, yeah. what goes through your mind? Well, uh, a, I never could imagine this when my grandmother told me about it. I didn't know it was this beautiful. Uh, or it, it's just a, it's a, it, it's a part of California.